Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm one of the nurses with Maine General Gastroenterology, and I've been here for four years, and I'm one of the people who will be helping you if you have questions about your colonoscopy. The process for your bowel prep starts three days before your procedure. We want you to follow a low fiber diet. Low fiber means not having things like popcorn, whole grains, or nuts. And we also want you to start drinking eight eight ounce glasses of fluid each day before your procedure. We would also like you to be paying attention to your packaged foods on the fiber guidelines. We would like you to have less than one to two grams of fiber on each serving. If you're wondering about your medications before your procedure, you can take all of your medications the same way up until the day before your procedure, except for if you're taking iron or a multivitamin with iron in it, and we would like you to stop that seven days before your procedure. If you're taking a blood thinner, such as Coumadin or Aliquis, we will call you with specific directions for your blood thinner. If you're a diabetic, we would want you to start holding your short-acting insulin or your oral medications the day of your procedure, and we would want you to check your blood sugars frequently every two to four hours. And if your blood sugar starts to drop too low, we would want you to drink plenty of high sugar clear liquids, such as Gatorade, apple juice, or ginger ale to keep your blood sugar levels normal. The day before your procedure, you can have a light breakfast, such as Rice Krispies, white toast, or scrambled eggs, and we would like you to eat this before 9 or 10 in the morning, and then you are going to follow a strict clear liquid diet, and clear liquids include Gatorade, apple juice, ginger ale, anything for a liquid that you can see through in a clear glass. This can also include popsicles or jello, just please avoid red or orange and your bowel prep will start usually the evening before your procedure and follow the specific guidelines of the prep you are sent. The reason we ask you to follow your bowel prep instructions closely is so that your colon will be very clean and easy for the doctors to visualize any abnormalities that may be there. The goal of your bowel prep is to have many bowel movements that get to a place where they are fairly clear. If your bowel prep makes you feel nauseous or sick, you can slow down or take a break for an hour and try restarting. I know this is a lot of information, but this is a very important procedure for every patient over the age of 45. We're here to help you with any questions or concerns you have about your procedure. You can call us anytime.